Okay, so you want to know how to draw a family tree. Let's start with the example of Bob. Bob is a male, so let's draw him as a square. Bob is married to his wife, Anne. Anne is a female, so we'll mark her as a circle. So Bob comes in and he wants to track a condition that runs in his family. In this case, Bob is a proband, or a consultant, and we mark that with an arrow. Bob has two parents. Unfortunately, they are both deceased. So we mark that on the pedigree by drawing a line through them. The condition that Bob is concerned about is the one that his wife carries. His wife has both traits of an autosomal recessive condition, and we mark that by filling in the circle. Bob has four children. Bob has a daughter, a son, and two twin girls. So normally you just draw a straight line down like this, but for twins it's a little different. For twins you do a triangle thing starting from a single point. Now if these twins were dizygotic, you just leave it as is. But because these twins are actually identical twins, they're monozygotic, you're going to draw a line across this triangle to signify that they're identical. Now because Anne has both traits, each of her children have one of those traits. So we're going to mark them as carriers of an autosomal condition. And so we just fill in half like that. Now, Bob is about to have a grandchild. Two of his children had a consanguineous marriage. And you mark that by these two lines here, as opposed to the one line in between Bob and Anne. Bob's children are about to have another child. And you mark that by a P and a diamond. The diamond signifies that you do not yet know the sex of the child. So now that we've finished drawing Bob's family tree, we can finish by marking the levels of each generation. So the first generation, Bob's parents, are marked with generation 1 in Roman numeral. Bob's generation is Roman numeral 2. His children are Roman numeral 3. And his grandchild is Roman numeral 4. In each generation, you mark each person going from left to right, going in order of 1 to 2, like this, 1, 2, and because on the third generation there are four children, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, and in the fourth generation there's only one child, so 1. So to signify each person, like let's say we want to mark out Bob. So Bob would be considered 2-1. And that's how you identify Bob on the pedigree. Thank you for watching this video. I want you to take away from this video how to use all these symbols in a pedigree. And if you want, you can use an exercise by picking a condition in your own family and then draw your own pedigree. I'll link a image of all the pedigree symbols in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe the video for more.